Good morning, everyone. Pastor Joseph here with you for our virtual spiritual handbook number six. We are going to be talking this morning about feelings because the spiritual life is about feelings as well as it is about knowledge, as well as it is about uh, understanding, as well as it is about your body. And one of the things that we forget is that you can, we're, we're so uh, siloed in American culture that uh, knowledge comes from textbooks or from just facts, uh, but we forget that there are many people out there, and you may be one of them, um, who get their knowledge from how they feel, get their knowledge from a place of feeling. Um, for me, many years, this was not my uh, area. This was not what I did myself. Feelings were sort of alien and foreign. I mean, I had feelings, but in spiritual direction, you learn how to uh, express them, how to uh, be aware of them. Sometimes they're called interior facts, what's going on inside you. Um, another term, obviously, is feelings. Um, but the uh, it's important for you to recognize what's going on because uh, very often we think that um, there is an event and that event leads directly to feelings and therefore we respond. But there's a, a second step in there. Um, an event uh, happens to us and yes, we do feel something, we experience a feeling, but rarely do we say, why am I experiencing that feeling? Is the reason I'm upset with this person because they remind me of a teacher that I didn't like in third grade. Is the reason I feel this way, does it have anything to do with them at all? Or does it have more to do with how my bank account looks right now? Um, or how uh, today just hasn't been going my way? And uh, expressing our feelings can become a really important tool for learning about ourselves about the world around us, and about God. And so what I would encourage you to do today as part of this virtual spiritual handbook is I would encourage you to uh, take a moment and uh, look through your day. You may want to get out your journal that I, uh, I encourage you to have handy and uh, to write in there uh, the various different feelings you've had through the day. This may be really difficult in the beginning. Um, some people, uh, myself included, have uh, an undifferentiated uh, feeling uh, vocabulary list. And uh, what I mean by that is bad, sad, mad, happy. Uh, we don't really uh, talk about frustrated or we don't have the, uh, the capacity to talk about um, the difference between uh, sad or just a little bit down or um, um, grieving. Uh, all those things are, are uh, grades, are, are uh, parts of the same feelings, but they're different, aren't they? So I encourage you to sit down and, and write down as many feeling words as you can um, of what you've gone through in the day and, and then look back at it. And I'll talk more about this uh, in the next Spirit Lift because uh, uh, then you'll have some raw data to work with and then you're going to want to uh, uh, look at that and I will, will uh, assist you if, if you find it helpful to, to work through the raw data. Okay. Love you all and miss you all. Keep masking up. Keep being safe. Hope to see you soon. See you in church. Bye.